All right, welcome back everyone. Well, art has a way of making us look at ordinary things in a different light. There are design elements everywhere, but it takes a special artist to let us know where to look. Elizabeth Hertel caught up with such a painter. Now that the greener elements of nature seem to be leaving town, it's easier to reflect on the man-made architectural structures that dominate the urban landscape. I recently met an artist that has already been seduced by the majesty of design and structure in the form of bridges. The large acrylic and oil paintings of Roland Coolis examine the intricacies of largesse of Chicago area bridges. Chicago actually has the world's largest collection of bascule bridges, and bascule is just a fancy word for teeter-totter. It was the kind they invented about 1900 that, uh, that lift, because they had several other kinds of lift bridges that didn't work very well for moving traffic, and so this was kind of a new invention for Chicago. So I think there are, oh, 60 or 70 of them uh, in the city itself. So my first series was called Constructs because I was really kind of focusing on the construction. Uh, and also, you know, when you think about the logic is, is one thing, but you also think about what a bridge does, and it's something that gets you from here to there, and there's a whole piece of engineering that goes into it, and there's logic and design and all those kinds of things. So I think that was some of the, the focus uh, on the first series. In the initial paintings, the colors of the bridges were true to form, with no margin for defects, with very simplistic blue or near-white backgrounds. In the second series, he was fascinated with details he brought to the center stage. The second series I called Nuts and Bolts. Um, and I started out with a three-foot nut and a three-foot bolt uh, so that people could kind of get the idea of you know, what goes into this kind of complexity and taking it from those simple elements to things that are very uh, grand and complex. In the third series, elements of time became a factor. Uh, some of the bridges uh, now have, um, when you are looking at the scene, you're maybe looking at one element up front in close proximity, but the background is kind of blurred. So that's a way to kind of, you know, when you're kind of zipping by, things are kind of blurry. So it, I wanted to show different ways that you could show movement. Another way to show movement, of course, is the effects of time. So to show the rust, to show the, the patina, to show what happens to things over time. Um, you think about things being powerful and lasting forever, these big, strong bridges. In some ways, you have these blades of grass that are starting to come up through the bridge. And while it might not be this particular blade of grass, ultimately the grass is going to win. The works of Roland Kula will be on display at the Steeple Gallery in St. John. For gallery hours, call 219-365-1014.